So I still see this question all over the BattleBots group and Reddit, which is where is Tombstone? If you're a longtime viewer of the blog, you know Tombstone took this last season and the last few competitions off because Ray Billings injured his hand very badly. He's had several surgeries, but now, finally, he is ready to pick the radio up back up and get back in the saddle. Ray is out in his garage working on new robots, and he has an announcement for his big comeback. And he's coming to the International Robo Games. The International Robo Games is coming up. It's going to be a fantastic event. You should really come out and watch if you're going to enjoy this sport. The best way to, to see it is live. So anytime you get a chance to go to an event to see it live, that's the, that's the way, to, way to do it. It's so much better than watching it on TV. Um, obviously, we've got the uh, the rebuild on Mortician here, so this is an all new robot we're taking. Should be a lot of fun. Um, we've also got a uh, a new heavyweight, something totally different to bring. So, uh, you know, if you get to come out, come should come out and watch. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's that's the Robo Games, April sixth or 9th at the Alameda County Fairgrounds, and come see all of us. So Robo Games holds a very special spot in my heart. It was the first robot competition I ever got to compete in, back when it was called the Robo Olympics. And almost all of your favorite BattleBots teams got their start here at Robo Games. Not only can you see the Killer B, Tombstone, the first version of Minotaur, uh, the original Gigabyte, uh, Fast Electronics, this is where Gary Jinn became a legend. His four-wheel wedge used to kick all of our butts as he was the master of wedge driving. But you could find just about all of your favorite teams all got their roots here. There are still tickets available to come see this live. It's April 6th through 9th here at the Alameda Fairgrounds in California. Please come out and support the show. And I am at the Bop Bass shop today with Andy Sorrow. Robo Games is right around the corner. And we are trying to prepare 56 robots for the tournament. Yes, that, that was not a misclaimer. That was not, uh, you didn't hear us wrong. Wearing a bunch of divisions. And, uh, and th to be honest, 50 of the robots are bot bash robots coming to entertain the crowd. And there, there they all are. We're currently trying to tune them up. So uh, let, let's check in on Andy and see what he's up to. I'm lost in the chaos. Zach, there's too many things to organize through and not enough time. We're right now working through all of these motors, trying to find out what works so we could scrap together some kind of ant weight to compete. I don't right. know what yet. Are you bringing this one? Maybe. Will you let me? No. <laughs> I mean, Wait, you, you've pulled like all my bins out. I they, they always feel out that. What did you do? I'm looking for inspiration, Zach. All right. Show, show me a few of your ideas. All right. What, what are you thinking? I could take one of these. And I could slap on one of these. And start grabbing them. Okay. Start grabbing them, Zach. <laughs> You're just grabbing them? Just grabbing them. That sounds wrong. Please I, move on. I'm just trying to find any little bit of inspiration. This one struck me as particularly destructive. I don't know what the heck you made right here. <laughs> it was Ice Cube. My little tiny version for the... um. Charity Brawl, that was going to be our ice wave, but then Mark couldn't come, so I didn't finish it. Looks massively destructive. Might be uh, <laughs> might be willing to pull that one out. And, uh, yeah, wait, get into wait where was Sister house. Christian? Oh, you're right. This is this is leading inspiration number one. We're going to put four-wheel drive, maybe a little Viper kit, and uh, <laughs> beat him up. Beat him up, Zach. What are you going to do when I get you in the corner and start throwing, <laughs> throwing jabs and elbows? Now, now, now we have to see that one. It's such an unholy design. <laughs> and that, that is truly, you have to be a bot builder that's been in the sport 20 years to get that reference. We do have something very cool that we were working on. I don't think oh. we'll get done in time, but sneak preview for a future tournament. So... So how are you going to finally pick, Andy? I, for the last two days, I've seen you root through all the broken robots here. And uh, we, tur we truly have, like, turned the shop inside out here. Well, we have a bunch of working ant weights that can go. Who 
knows? We might even get a little special guest appearance from uh, a oh. fan across the country, right? This is true. I mean, this I, little bad boy's won a number of tournaments, I've heard. Yeah, and he's just sitting here on our Dunn Antweight shelf. Because there's the bomb, there's Peter Sparky Tail. I, I think we need to rename that one. Because I, I don't want to steal the builder's name. To come up with something. But, I mean, oh, we have, you've just been, like, peeling through every shelf trying to find something. Well, I'm trying to find more finger uh, sparks from uh, finger, finger tech. Finger tech. Finger tech. <laughs> Sorry, it's silver sparks from fing finger sparks. <laughs> silver sparks from finger tech. So if you guys got some 22 to 1 motors, let me know. Uh, we just have to keep rooting. There's there's hundreds of robots here. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure we... I promise, I promise I'm not going to break into song about finding the perfect robot. I mean, isn't it funny you have hundreds of robots, but we can't find any of the parts that we need to build a new one? <laughs> I might enter huge. Why not? That's moderate huge. Sizable. Sizable huge. The Xenobot. The Battle Beetle. The Tentamushi Scrap Daddy. Oh, there we go, Andy. It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Here's Jimmy, my old robot. And bring this back. <laughs> Throw, slap some wheels on it. It's good to go. Can I get, can I get your best Ray Billings laugh? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Okay. Is that what? What? Uh, you I'm gonna. That? I'm gonna actually put it as the voiceover for our little opening thing. We gotta tell him a joke. Okay. Yeah. You can't, you can't, oh, okay. Can't, you, you can't just. You can't just say laugh. Okay. It doesn't work that way. That's okay. a good point. That's okay. a good point. So there's two fish in a tank. One turns to the other one and goes, "Hey, do you know how to drive this thing?" <laughs> there's two monkeys in a bathtub. One goes. Ooh! The other one goes, if it's too hot, just turn on some cold water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 